Hey guys, it's Radio and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Um, we're still in lockdown, but it's okay. Cracking on with stuff, trying to keep ourselves busy. Um, but yeah, so today's video, as you probably saw by the title, um, I decided that I'm going to do a bit of a makeup look. I never really do this. Um, did it once for me and Emily's channel, but like I'm not a makeup artist at all, so it's kind of a bit out of my comfort zone to be fair. Um, but I thought, why not, seeing as, um, you know, we're in quarantine, let's, like, you know, play with some makeup, come up with a bit of a look. Um, so, I'm going to do a bit of a pink and yellow look today. I'm going to be using um, the Conspiracy Palette by Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star. Um, absolutely adore this palette. It's my most expensive palette that I've got. Um... But it's absolutely amazing. I literally love it. And um, when I first got it, I started using eyeshadow more and more and more. Um, but then I just get into that point where I just like stop using eyeshadow, which I don't want to do. I want to get more into eyeshadow. So I've recently bought two Morphe palettes um, to try and you know boost up my thing for like eyeshadow and whatnot, um, and kind of start getting a bit more creative with my makeup. Um, but yeah, so let's crack on with today's video. My mum's on the phone. It's being very loud. It's quite rude. Let's wait for her to go. On the phone to my gran. Great. Okay, so we're going to start off with my base. I have my trusty mirror here. Um, now, I'm obviously going to go through all the products I'm using as I continue with today's makeup. I've already done my um, skincare routine, all of that stuff, so my skin is pretty much prepped. Um, now, I like to go in first with the Arbon Redness Rescue. It's a mattifying, um, like reduces mattifying powder that reduces redness. It's like a green powder, basically. And I just like to go in with this little sponge, like little pad thing that comes with. Um, so. I just like to go over the little bits that are a bit more red than usual. Next I go in with my concealer which is from Arbonne also and it's in the shade Fair because I do the concealer a lighter shade than my actual skin tone. Then I'm going to go in with my wet, well damp beauty blender um, and just um, blend that in. Okay, so once we've done the concealer, I then go in with my foundation, um, and this is Arbon Perfect Liquid Foundation, it's got SPF 15 in it, um, and it's in the shade um, Buff, um, which is more of my skin tone, and I just do two pumps, obviously, if I will sometimes go in back in with another little bit, um, but it's better to do a bit less and then build it rather than have loads and then waste product because we don't want to do that. So I just get my kabuki brush and just pop it on and then I do two strokes on the cheeks and then I just blend it in. Making sure to go down the neck of course. And then just the top of the head. The foundation is done and I literally am obsessed with the cover of this foundation. Um, I use the CC cream as well from Arbonne. Um, like majority of my makeup now is all Arbonne and I literally am obsessed. Like it's just so good and like it's all good for you. Like the makeup is, I'm obsessed. Obsessed. Um, so then once we've done that, we go in with, where is it? Um, some translucent powder. Now I'm going to bake today because um, of the fact that I'm doing eyeshadow. 
So we just go in with the Beauty Blender. And we just pack it on under the eye. Okay, then once that's done, we're going to move on to eyebrows and eyeshadow. Okay, so I'm going to get my little spoolie out and I'm just going to brush through my brows first. Um, and then I'm going to go in with the Shape It Up Brow Pencil from Arbonne. And I'm going to do this off camera just because it's going to take a long, long time because I take forever to do my eyebrows. So I've done my brows now um, and then I'm now going to go in with the eyeshadow. Um, so I'm going to start off with using um, the shade Tanacon just as like a little base. I'm going to go in with this brush here and we're just going to apply Tanacon all over the base of my lids. Just like that. Um, and then we're going to go in with the shade Pigment. Um, so I'm just going to use this brush here and we're going to apply this again all over the base of, all over the lid itself. Um, more in the centre of the lid. I just like to use Tanacon as a base just to like, um, so that the other shadows have something to sit on. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with a bit more of a sparkle. So I'm going to use the shade Trisha, which is this beautiful, like bright, vibrant, sparkly pink, which I'm obsessed with. I literally love this shade so much. But like, it, again, it's one of those shadows where you don't need a lot um, because it's just so highly pigmented. So now I'm going to do my cut crease. I'm going to use the other side of my spoolie and I'm going to just gently dab concealer onto that now I'm going to go in from the inner corner of my eye to around the center I'm not going to completely go over so it should look something like this so obviously you can kind of tell that the concealer's there. So then I'm going to use this brush and go in with the shade Food Vibe. Food vi food Vibes? Food Videos, oh my god. Um, and I'm just going to use this flat brush here and I'm just going to pack it on. Okay, so it should look something like this. Again, I'm not a makeup artist, so do not judge. Um, but I'm pretty happy with it, to be fair, so far. Um, so that should what it should look like now and then we're going to go in with uh, the shade Ranch and we're going to do like a little sparkle in the corner and then we're going to go back in with the food videos just under my waterline. Okay well I'm going to do the waterline first seeing as I've got this brush out and ready. So I'm now going to use this brush here and I'm going to go in with the shade Ranch. It's like a beautiful like shimmery white. I'm just going to do the inner corner. Uh, it should look like this. Okay, so that is the first eye done and I'm going to do the second eye off video. Okay, so I have now finished um, with the other eye and I've taken off all the baking powder. Baking powder? Taken off all the powder um, from when I was baking. Um, and powder the rest of my face. So now I'm going to go in and do bronzer, blusher, highlighter and all the other bits. For bronzer and blush I'm using this beautiful palette here from Arbonne um, and it is the Starlight Glow palette. Um, it looks a little bit like this. Um, I literally love it. So I'm going to use the shade Meteor um for my bronzer so just going to go in with the brush give a little tap um and then i'm going to do my contour so on my cheekbones head and on my neck
So now that the contouring's done, I'm now going to use the shade um, Moonstone, which is this beautiful like blush pink, um, just to blush up my cheeks a bit, bring a bit more colour in. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with highlighter. Okay, so for highlighter, I'm going to be using NYX Duo Chromatic Illuminating Powder. So I'm going to be using this um, Real Techniques. It's a dome shallow brush, but I like to use it for highlighter. Um, so I'm just going to go in um, and highlight my cheekbone. Um, I'm now just going to highlight the bridge of my nose. Uh, my cupid bow and then that's the highlighting done I'm gonna curl my lashes and put my mascara on and for mascara I'm gonna be using the Arbonne Speak Volumes mascara this mascara I am obsessed with like it literally like now when I say that Arbonne's makeup is amazing for you this mascara literally has made my eyelashes grow like that makes no sense I know but it literally does um my friend B she we, we all use this mascara um she has this one eyelash that literally grows like longer than the others just one eyelash um and she has to like cut it but it just grows back like she like cuts the eyelash like trims it and it just goes back, like it's just one eyelash, it's the funniest thing, but like it just proves that like our bond stuff is just so good. So now that my mascara is all done, I'm now gonna go in with this setting spray from Arbonne also. It's the Let It Set Refreshing Finishing Spray. So we're just gonna spritz this all on. And then finally I'm just gonna go in with this gorgeous nude gloss from Arbonne also. It's in the shade uh, Cala. And that is today's makeup look done. Um, I'm really quite happy with the end product, to be completely honest. Um, like, for someone that like me, who like rarely ever plays with eyeshadow and rarely ever like uses eyeshadow on a day-to-day -day basis, I'm quite happy with how it's turned out. But that is the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoy. If you did, please make sure to give it a massive thumbs up. If you haven't, hit the subscribe button down below. That would really mean a lot. Um, I will leave the, all my socials and my other channel with Emily in the description below. Um, and yeah, I shall see you guys soon for another video. Until then, bye.